Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on finding mystery number A. The question says if minus 2i is the root to this polynomial, and we want to find out what the mystery number is, there's a trick in here. If they give you x minus 2i as a root, that's the saying x minus this root is a factor. So let's write this one in a factor form x cube plus ax squared plus 8x plus 12. Oh, I'm running out of space here. Okay, that's one factor. Now here is the tricky part. If they give you one one complex root, then its conjugate is also a root. It's kind of like implied. If you take out a girl for a date, it's implied you're paying for the dinner. And then we're looking for what's remaining here. Okay, let's multiply this one out. It's x plus 2i times x minus 2i. And we don't know what's left over. And this one, when we multiply it out, we're going to have the whole thing. Okay, this one is easy. We're going to use different square, which is x squared minus 2i squared. We still don't know what this part is. We're going to be using long division, as unpleasant as it sounds, but it's unavoidable here. Okay, so this chunk is equal to x squared plus 4. We don't know what this is. And then here comes the long division part. Okay. This one we can't use, cannot use synthetic division because it's x squared plus 4. It has to be a x minus a number instead of x squared term. So let's set it up at 2x cubed plus ax squared plus 8x plus 12 divided by x squared plus 4. Okay, It's complicated, it's tedious, but it doesn't have to be hard. We need a two chairs because there are two numbers. So I'm going to copy out my two chairs here. The first time we're going to put it here is 2x. The reason I put a 2x is 2x times a leading term. All I'm trying to do is match my leading term. Now here's the interesting part. I'm missing the x term. So 2x times 4, that's 8x. Okay, now I'm going to subtract this together. 2x cubed minus 2x cubed goes away. And then this one has nothing to subtract, gets left out here. 8x minus 8x is 0. So 12 gets come on, come on down. Since we know it completely factors over here, in order to have a 12 here, I have to have a 3. Okay, That's plus 12. And what do you know? This one is 0 if and only if a is equal to 3. So that's our answer. Okay. My apology, I forgot to push it up earlier. So I did 2x over here and multiplied it out and subtracted it. I realized that ax squared gets left out here and 12 comes down directly here. In order to match the 12, 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. Since I know this is a complete factor, then this a has to be 3 for my remainder to be 0. Okay, so a equal to 3. All right. Well, this is how we solve this type of problem. Hope it's clear. Please leave a comment on YouTube and let me know if it's helpful to you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. For more math answers, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, have a confident day.